Hello friends, in the present video we will understand the concept of capital budgeting and its introduction. So what is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting is the process of investment decision in long term assets. Whenever we invest money in any long term assets, it comes under the category of capital budgeting. So capital expenditure incurred today is expected to bring its benefits over a period of time. Here we must understand once we incur the capital expenditure today with the expectation of earning revenues or profits or cash inflows over a period of time until the expiry of the life of the project. The examples of capital budgeting expenditure are Purchase of fixed assets such as land and building, plant and machinery, goodwill, patent rights, copyrights or any fixed asset which can be used for running the business. The expenditure related to additions, expansion, improvement and alteration to the fixed assets. Any improvement, any additions to fixed assets such as extension of manufacturing plant, extension of building alteration of fixed asset, this all comes under the category of capital expenditure. The replacement of fixed asset, suppose we had an old fixed asset which we were using for the business, now it has become obsolete and old which is not having any economic value or economic life for production of goods and services, then we need to replace that asset. So the replacement cost even comes under the category of capital budgeting. Research and development project comes under the capital budgeting because it requires huge investment, huge cash outlay. So definitions of capital budgeting. So according to Charles Horngreen, capital budgeting is a long term planning for making and financing proposed capital outlay. Then next definition, capital budgeting is concerned with the allocation of firms, care, risk, financial resources among the available market opportunities. The consideration of the investment opportunities involves the comparison of expected future streams of earnings from a project with the immediate and subsequent stream of earnings from a project with the immediate and subsequent stream of capital expenditure for it. See, in the sense, if you read all the both the definitions, you can come to a conclusion that it is a long-term decision, investment incurred today, that is expenditure incurred today with the expectation of future earning. This is the meaning we can derive from these two definitions. And further two definitions even says the same thing, that is capital budgeting is acquiring inputs with long-term return. Then next capital budgeting consists in planning development of available capital for the purpose of maximizing the long term profitability of the concern. Again the same meaning we can get out of these definitions in the sense what the capital budgeting decision is a long term decision and it is a decision involves capital expenditure and capital budgeting is a process of investment decision right then when you see the features of capital budgeting they are it involves the exchange of current funds for the benefit of benefit to be achieved in future so today we are investing and with the expectation of getting return in future over a period of time the future benefits are expected to be realized over a series of years the funds are investment in non-flexible and long-term activities. Non-flexible and long-term activities which are irreversible decisions. It has long-term and significant effect on profitability and development and growth and profitability and success and survival of the organization. It involves generally huge funds. Huge funds. More amount is required. There are these are irreversible decisions, as I told you. These are irreversible decisions, reversible, but it is substantial loss. Need and importance of capital budgeting. Large investment 
then long term commitment of funds irreversible nature long term effect on profitability and growth of the organization difficulties of investment decisions then national importance this decision even will have some national importance because it is affected it is concerned with gdp and employment creation in the country right so capital budgeting process what is the process of capital budgeting when you talk about the process of capital budgeting first identification of investment proposal is most important we need to find out we need to identify what is the investment proposals we have then screening the proposals after receiving all the proposal we must screen the proposals and then we must decide and evaluation of various proposals then we must evaluate the proposal which proposal is to be kept under consideration and selected then fixing the priorities what are our priorities how to uh, fix our, how to implement our priorities and in order to implement in order to uh, do our job what is the possible project that we need to select then final approval of the project finally we need to decide which project is to be selected then implementing the pro proposal implementing the proposal or project is very important stage where we need to allocate the funds and financial resources manpower and everything to do the project well and implement it and earn certain amount of money from the project finally performance review of the project is a very important area where we need to understand and see how the project is working right so thank you very much for watching my video this is the basic crux that i have explained about the capital budgeting other relevant videos of capital budgeting methods and all the videos which i am about to make will be kept in i button as well as end screen so please subscribe my channel and motivate me to make more qualitative videos thanks for watching my video